how is it going to date loyalist king of money? You see that? You see Jasmine. that? You see that? And this is Jasmine, of course. <laughs> um, we're doing the jazz, and guys, we finally, finally, we haven't even copped ours yet. Finally. So finally got, got the breast cancer awareness okay. rose queen rose pink. Yeah. Breast cancer I'm not awareness sure if logos. you guys can see it, but we have the um, yeah. the breast cancer we'll do a better one logo right, right here. here. Um, so, and it says the regular design, loyalist, and then the arrows on the side. Yeah, so, and then half of the proceeds will be going to breast cancer yes, awareness. So please, guys, let's do something great, loyalist kingdom, and let's buy yes. these so we can they, they can do studies on them. Because I know there's people that probably even watching that have some people to go through it. So mm -hmm. you want to help people. This is a positive community. And so this yeah, is why we're doing it. And link is in the description, description of all of our videos. So you it's can go in ahead. the bio of both. All of our Instagrams, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So get yours today. But anyway, today we have for you a dub battle: Dante versus Bayonet. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm not sure about the name. Did I say it right this time? I think, I think okay. it's Bayonet. I think I said yeah. it. I said it right this time. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's dive on it. All right. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by them. Angry. Video I don't know any of them. We're gonna learn. Okay. That's what I like about Death Battle. You right can now, learn. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. Yes. Free. You guys have been really requesting Some action too. heroes, yeah. it's not enough to just save the world. They've got to look good doing oh, it. Oh, who is that? Dante, the Devil Hunter. Oh, wait, I didn't know that. Bayonetta, the Umbra hey, Witch. Familiar. He's wizard of Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, so, armor, yeah. and skills to find out who would win <laughs> <laughs> our <laughs> death battle. Because <laughs> we didn't play the game, so yeah. I don't know. I've hey, seen the character. Slum Avenue. And you'll find all sorts of hangouts for the scum of the underworld. Who is that? A bullseye bar, a random strip club, and even a run down for a shop called Devil May Cry. Okay, there Aren't we the go. the services they're selling aren't like washing your car or fixing your plumbing. <laughs> oh no! Long as you got the cash, this shop specializes in delivering demonic beatdowns. Mm. Who's crazy enough to try making a living this way, you ask? Him. His name Dante. is Dante. From the very beginning, Dante's life was always as unusual. Born from the unholy union of a human pieces? mother and a demon right. father, Dante I and his brother after that. Virgil had their first supernatural encounter at the young age of eight. Mm. Yeah, see, his demon dad was a badass who single-handedly <laughs> conquered the underworld and imprisoned its demon emperor, Mundus. <laughs> but oh after God. dad died, Mundus's minions felt brave enough to take some revenge by slaughtering his family, leaving Dante an orphan. Oh my but God. With his mother gone and his brother assumed hands dead, died. Dante was left with only <laughs> one option. Become the ultimate demon hunter and perpetuate the cycle of vengeance. This party's getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rock. Wow, I thought he was gonna kill somebody. Is that old timey radio? Oh, <laughs> he's gonna kill somebody. Despite the dangerous nature of his occupation, Dante always maintains a carefree spirit yeah, while dispatching lit. devils it from is. the underworld. It's part of his charm. Hell, when you've got abilities like Dante's, why not be a little cocky? <laughs> He's faster than the mortal eye can see, strong enough to grapple with the underworld's toughest demons, and straight up man enough to shake off being stabbed through the chest like every goddamn day. <laughs> regenerative ability. In fact, all of that is made possible due to his demonic heritage, and made even more deadly by his plethora of weapons. His mm. favorites being Dang. his dual pistols and enormous sword. Like any proud weapon owner, he gives his tool of destruction pet names. His of guns, course. Ebony and Ivory, specialize in long range like shots and rapid fire barrages, respectively. These hand cannons are so powerful, they can eat up glittering demons in a single shot. Damn! That looks easy better. She looks Rick hard. Ryan is like, a large like, magical oh, sword given to, to him by his pops, which can cut any demon down to size in the blink of an eye. He's also got his brother's sword, Yamato, which can cut through dimensions. Throughout his adventures, Dante also collected a wide assortment of additional weaponry called Devil Arms, Ooh. physical manifestations of powerful demons he has defeated. Remember, Mega Man? Yeah. <laughs> his armored Gilgamesh cutlass is true? striking power, Mega Man, we but he can shatter huge monoliths with a lethal one-inch punch. With Lucifer, the backpack, not the devil, oh. they basically <laughs> throws infinite lightsaber. He's yes. also got an electric guitar, which is literally electric. Uh -oh. Powered nunchucks, grenade launchers, shotguns, and I kid you not, a what briefcase that can That's transform into 666 different weapons. Ranging from a giant Beyblade to a flying <laughs> Where does he possibly keep all this stuff? 
what really, the hell? really deep pockets. Or perhaps it's one of his what? styles. He's OP. Abilities he's also acquired from defeating demon bosses. With doppelganger style, he can duplicate himself. With trickster style, he can oh, so you him. Buy himself? With royal guard style, he becomes a nigh impervious dreadnought. And he can even slow down time with the Quicksilver style. So you can't beat him. On the rare occasion Dante feels he needs to get serious, he enters the Devil Trigger. A transformation which taps into his demonic heritage to unleash his true devil form. Damn, he opens up. Devil well. Trigger dramatically increases his strength, speed, and healing power. What? And he can fly. Being so well armed, Dante is more than capable of handling entire hordes of demons on his own. Although this doesn't stop some of his allies from joining in from time to time. This includes Trish, a demon lady who occasionally fights alongside him, and happens to resemble his deceased mother. Wow. Talk about giving somebody an Oedipus complex. Right. Hey, if I may quote an old family saying, Wait, that was if she's name. not directly related, mm. she's safe to be dated. That explains a lot. Luckily, and quite surprisingly, that avenue was never explored. <laughs> Thank God. Dante is a walking, talking, feet okay, achieving machine. Oh my one God. time after getting impaled by four demons at once, he pushed one so hard it exploded and dropped a ceiling fan on the other three, all while eating a slice of pizza. What? Oh, and when their friends showed up, he challenged them to a game of billiards. <laughs> he OP, yo. Dante so, has run down the side I of the building so win. fast he caught some we'll fire, see. similar to a so speed crash near the atmosphere right. at approximately 17,000 miles per hour. And he's even capable of taking out others just as overpowered as himself. Like his brother Virgil, who was not dead, but evil. He stopped and was punch from this titanic monster without Damn. breaking a sweat, shrugged up bombardment by meteors, and eventually avenged his mother by defeating the demon lord Mundus. In space. What? Okay. You be asking yourself, can anything stop this guy? You're right. Yes. No, Dave does have a limit to how much punishment he can take. But if there's anything that could take him down, it's his own cocky attitude. In the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, there is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. Right. Yes. I'm going to have to disagree with old Lao Tzu here. Pretty <laughs> sure there's no greater danger than telling a woman those brands do in fact make her ass look fat. No, yeah, that's, that's a good thing now. You say that and be like, thank you. <laughs> I got to the anime. That's on the anime looks up. I know. That looks real pretty, From huh? the angels of Paradiso to the demons of Inferno, there is a name feared by both the light and the dark. And her name is Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Oh, she's great, too. Seven, seven? Walking down the street, she Jesus, why like is she so high? Foot tall, gargantuan Amazon woman with good fashion sense. But Bayonetta <laughs> is actually one of the last Umbra witches, a clan of mystics allied with demon kind. Named Cereza upon birth, she spent her early life growing up in so Elfcast due to her parents being from rival clans. Her father, a Lumen Sage, and her mother, an Umbra witch. Mm. See, the sages and witches Didn't had one rule to follow. Don't make babies with the opposite <laughs> clan because, right. according to prophecy, it would bring on the destruction of the universe. So, naturally, it was only a matter of time before somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. <laughs> Pulling out works every time, but the last time. You would know. With the pact now broken, war ensued between the two factions. In the end, they only two the witches people. survived. Cereza and her rival slash future friend, Jean. Hoping to prevent the apocalypse, Jean used a special dagger to seal away Cereza's memories and put her into a 500-year-long coma. Mm. When Cereza woke up from her epic power nap, she took on her new name, Bayonetta, and set out to find her lost memories. Luckily for her, she had just the right weapon for the job. Her hair! As an umbral what? witch, not only does her hair serve as her clothing, mm. which I'm having awesome. a really hard time deciding whether or not that's hot, or just disgusting. That's awesome. She can also use it to summon the demon Madama Butterfly to aid her in battle. Mm. This technique, though, the fist? Yes. creates portals for the giant thing demon is to huge. deliver devastating punches and kicks. Oh my and god. This battle's about to be lit. Walls and ceilings with witch walls, I don't know. And even transform man. into animals to fly, run super fast, and dodge attacks. But her most useful technique is witch time. By slowing down time so itself, the Bayonetta thing. can dodge practically anything while unleashing a barrage of attacks. Bayonetta mm. is basically a tall, sexy armory. <laughs> she wields gauntlets called Durga, which attack with fire. 
you look like a chomp chomp too. You did. You did. Rocks the souls of its victims and a friggin' lightsaber called Pillow Tug. She has a bow that fires poison arrows, a chainsaw made of dragon scales, a massive hammer that can cause earthquakes from every strike, and even ice skates, which attack with ice. Obviously. Right. But her most beloved weapons are her four pistol yeah. set called Love is Blue. Mm. Rather than swap between them like a normal person, she somehow manages to wield all of yes. them at once by using not only her hands, but yes. also her feet. How does that work? You do it. Does she have like some kind of weird thumbs on her ankles yeah. or something? That would kind of detract from the hotness factor. Yeah. Oh my god! She's covered in air and she uses her feet like hands. She's a, a monkey. monkey. Speaking of magic, when Bayonetta wants to unleash Damn. her full potential, she triggers her Umbrin Climax. This is about to be crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> which increases her strength and lets her summon Madama Butterfly's full unrestrained power. When yeah, fully yeah, unleashed, yeah. Madama Butterfly can shatter huge meteors by headbutting them. Uh, oh, wow. Climax. By herself, Bayonetta has pulled off some impressive feats. She's strong enough to kick military jets into the air, headbutt skyscrapers across the city, and even throw satellites with her legs. Alright, I don't space. know who gonna win. This, no these are, these characters are OP, yeah. Using which time, she was able to defeat this thing in only a matter of real-time seconds. Even without which time, her reaction speed is astronomical. For example, when a Lumen sank, but also dodge all 16 of them. Damn. Considering regular bullets travel God. around 25 yeah, miles per second, it's gonna be tied. It's gonna be tied. I got Dante. They're gonna get tied because they both can't. They're killing kill each other. Which they're gonna be like, you know what? You're not you know. by scissoring your hair. <laughs> I got Dante. I got Dante. Your soul across the entire solar system. You got Bayonetta. I don't know. I got Dante. Okay. They both like crazy. Those abilities are absolutely ridiculous. Yes. But she is sometimes rather inconsistent. Despite her reaction time, she's been caught off guard. Why is it right in that game so from cool? a half-god called Lobster, or something like that, and even a plant monster that managed to grab her out of the air. But well, regardless of whatever weaknesses she may have, Bayonetta has achieved more than anyone could possibly imagine, despite being 100% human. Wow. Wait, she is human? I got Dante. Alright, send this debate once and for all. I got Dante. But first, we made another video game, and it sure would be swell if you buy it. <laughs> the nerd is back for an all-new adventure. Crush your enemy. I remember the 8 bits games, these were like. Those are fun. They're hard too. They're hard as Those are like yeah. the hardest games we'll ever play. They're way harder to game now. Yeah, they, they made the game easy now. Before you had to like look at cheat codes and stuff. And like write it down. Yeah. Remember it. And lots more shit. Coming March 29th to PC and Mac. We order now on Steam and get 10 percent off and the soundtrack free. But right now, it's time for a death battle. He's about to be epic. Yeah. I got Dante. I guess you got Bane. I don't know who. You I'm, know, I'm in the side. You gotta pick somebody, Jasmine. I say it's gonna be a tie. You gotta pick one somebody, Jasmine. You can't be a Bayonetta just to be against you. I thought you would. Okay. I'm gonna get this W. Alright, maybe not. Another wandering lost soul, I see. <laughs> <laughs> this is really well done, too. Yeah. They should probably the chance. something called the left eye. Care to give me a hand? Could be fun. <laughs> I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel or a demon. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dang. Oh. Oh, he caught it with his mouth okay. though. That's real sexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, they going at it, yo. Yes. Damn, she pulled up. I know. That's what's crazy about it. What 
is that? Yeah, I don't know who's gonna win right. You can like that, Miss. Yeah, see? They both play. Oh. Ooh. Which time? Yeah. You get him, yes. It's on the damn coffin? What the hell is that? Disappointing finish. You need sight? He's not done. Oh, he made him mad. Look at look, look. that. all you got, sister? <laughs> ah, looks like you're more of a man than I thought. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, she's playing. How you doing? I know she's laughing. Look, look, look. Oh. oh. They both doing it slow. Yes. What? Yep, both can do it. Haven't used this in a while. Still got it. <laughs> Not even fighting. Cool. And fighting fast and I don't slow motion. In slow motion. What the? <laughs> You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. <laughs> you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that battle gone sexual. <laughs> Climax. Wow. Oh my god. He's gonna turn into a demon form, maybe. Yeah, he is. Your breath stinks! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. She pulled that hammer out. Where did he just go? Down. Yeah. Oh, he's going to hell. That's cheating. That low key is cheating, Jenny. I'm not going to. Oh, she brought hell too. Oh, 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 it's a double. Oh, it's a double battle. There we go. Since you want to jump in. Come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. This is the most lit one. All right, two versus two. Seriza, having some guy trouble? Not to worry. I've got this one handled. Yeah, right. You like love to fight. There you go. Yo. That's like, you know, when like your friends to a fight and then you stay losing, so they try to jump in yeah. and their friend comes in. Like, no, you have yep. to jump in. So. They double teaming like crazy. Too. I know. Crazy. Oh, he's put. Uh oh, oh my God, dog. That's crazy how you can pull that up. Oh my God. They got weapons like crazy. They got a full arsenal. They turn into dogs. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is supposed to be the best one I've seen thus far. This, this has like to the be the longest fight we've seen. This has to be the best one to me. Oh. <laughs> Now make me fight you. Trish, my best fantasy, boy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He turned a full demon. Uh oh. Come on, Dante. Give me this W. Come on, baby. Yes. Give me this W. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Get him. Dante. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Jeez. Damn! No. That's so possible. Yeah, she's gone, Jasmine. I got faith in her. She's done. He could. It's a. No, bro. Wait, 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 wait. 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 They can See, heal though. Got each other. No, but, but he can heal though. Yeah. yeah. Bullseye. Wait. He might. How come I 
probably never meet any nice girls. Date ever. Yeah, they even lost their friends. Yeah. They, they, they was gone. They died. Yeah, what happened to them? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. Oh, oh. oh. oh like Did a second part. analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just gonna make them fight. Yeah, you would. And what actually so matters, we can check that out if you guys want to see. A satellite throwing feet trumps any and all of Dante's. She has no healing factor. Mm -hmm. However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. Okay. Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly is nothing new to this demon slayer for hire. Yeah. But most yeah. of all, Bayonetta no, didn't no. have many ways to actually kill him. Yeah. I mean, the dude shrugs out mortal wounds every day like they were nothing more than bug bites. Both can okay. take a bullet. But unlike Dante, when Bayonetta's stabbed, it hurts. Oh, That's yeah. why avoiding attacks was her specialty. Okay. But she could only I dodge for so long against somebody like Dante. Yeah. Early in their careers, Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius, briefly creating a completely open space in a rainstorm. Up to 30 raindrops can occupy a cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less than Raindrop. a second. Drops Without out. any extra abilities <laughs> or styles, even with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Even when she tried avoiding him, with which time, Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field. Okay. Basically making it useless. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say. Hair uh -huh. today, gone tomorrow. Hair today. The winner is Dante. That was... <laughs> that was dope. Okay. Next time on... That was the longest that was the, fight. That was I've long, ever seen. but it was the most, the best. I think that was one of the best. I think it is fights I've seen thus far. Yeah. They brought not only did they brought two care more characters in. The animation was beautiful. Yeah, it was. And the they, voices were excellent. It's, uh, it was like two unstoppable like forces. Forces going against each other, and she's not even a demon. Yeah, she did. Now she's, she's amazing for being just a human. So that's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, guys, please comment below. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. It's just more. I got deuces.